Tim Harris is with us right now, and he brings the plain Jane car with him. And you guys know me. Anytime there's a plain Jane car, it's an automatic interview uh, for me. So, so were we thrashing to get this ready, or why is it uh, here without any graphics today, Tim? Uh, just think, just busy in the garage, and uh, you know, with the dump truck business, getting farming, and everything I got going on. We just it was ready to race, and there was no time for lettering. So. Okay. And you told me last year you had a problem. You actually ran a small block here most of the year. We ran, yeah, we ran the first couple of weeks with a big block, heard it, and uh, had to resort to our 358 for the rest of the season here. And so, did you pick up some bad habits maybe with the 358? Nah, I don't think so. I think the, to be honest with you, racing the big block weekly. Make it new again? No, it's just you learn how to kind of keep your composure driving the big block where the small block is, you know, you can drive it a little more aggressively, per se. Yeah, and a lot of guys tell me too, you, it, to run that extreme bottom line, especially at Brewerton, with a small block is tough because it turns one and two, right? Yeah. So run the outside more, keep it revved up, that kind of thing. You told yeah, me you weren't, the, no, go ahead. Here was pretty good in the middle of uh, last year. Wasn't that kind of the nature of today's setups and everything too? They they do drive through the black a lot better than they used to, don't they? Yeah. Okay. You weren't going to be a big block, you told me. What's that? This car kind of came together somewhere along the way. Yeah. It was, it was, we were supposed to put a new 358 together, and then the big block motor was done sitting on the floor. And one thing led to another, kind of got talked into building the big block car again, and here we are. So basically, this is a lot of your spares. That are yeah, on this we, car. Yeah, we had a big doll car. We were racing with the big block stuff. We stripped it, used the rear end fuel cell seat, mm -hmm. um, a lot of that. Kind of everything. Pretty much, that was a big doll, and this is a Troyer. So, oh, it is a Troyer. On this okay. Video, so. Okay. I talked to Ronnie Davis. He said in today's world, as far as setup and, and stuff like that, there's not a huge difference like there used to be. The, the setups and stuff is it though, but the bolt on parts on the cars are, you know, like the motor plate's different. It is. The bell housings are the same, the trainees are the same, the steering box are the same. Right. But your torque arms are different, your radius rods, and shock mounts, just stuff like that are different. The radius rods, different lengths? Nah, no, just the brackets where they bolt on the front axles. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. And you don't have the Himes that have the, that you have the oil or something? There's a, you don't have those? Oh. Okay, all right. So, do we know this car well enough today, or is this going to be, we got to see what we got? We got to see what we got tonight. All right, so how do we, what is our goal for the first session then? Just trying to finish it. Okay. Make sure it brakes work, steers, runs. Uh -huh. We'll just go from there. And obviously after the first session we want to take the hood off and make sure that yeah. nothing's leaking, there's no pinholes and anything, stuff like that, right? Yeah. Okay. We're going to see you where this year? Right now the goal is to race Friday nights at Brewerton with the big block, Fulton's with the small block, and we're in the air. We may dabble with chasing the 358 series. Okay. Of course, that's tough because now you got twice the cars to do maintenance on during the week. Yeah, I don't have no time as it is. Yeah. Well, who's helping you this year? Uh, the same guys. I got Josh and Nick White. Uh, they're brothers. They help us. My daughter. Both my daughters help at home. Right. And whoever else comes around. All right. Well, it's good to see you. I hope things go well. And uh, hopefully no problems with the big block. You get a whole season in. So I'll see you on the track, man. Good job. Thank you. Thanks.